Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to insert hyperlinks in Excel. Uh, you can have two kinds of hyperlinks in Excel. One leads to a website, another one leads to a certain document on your uh, on your desktop or on your computer. Let's start with a website. So let's 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 make this or turn this into a link leading to a website. Let's say like Google. So when I click in that cell, I go into Insert on the tab in the on the Insert tab. I'll go on hyperlink. Now, if I'm planning to um, uh, make a hyperlink to a certain URL, all I have to do is type the URL down here. So let's say I want to go to Google. So I just take HTTP, oop, dub, 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 google.com. Okay, and there we go. And I got my hyperlink here. Obviously, I can also uh, uh, format my hyperlink differently, so it isn't like blue. So you know, I could I could my, make my hyperlink red, bold, and give it a bigger uh, font size. So there you go. And if I click on that, I get Google. All right. Now let's turn that into a link. Uh, opening up a PDF document I saved I, pr I saved previously so again I go to insert hyperlink and this time I navigate and search my document I know my document is on a desktop in the folder AAA and there is my sample document that's that's the one I want the link leading to and okay so now what I can do is just Take the format and apply it here. And let's try our document hyperlink. And let me just reduce that. And now I got my, that's my document. And hyperlink opens that document. Okay, so quite simple. Uh, hyperlinks uh, in Excel are quite useful if let's say you're having a table uh, full of your costs, for instance. This is one thing I've used often. Uh, I have my costs in a table and I have that on each row I have a hyperlink leading to that receipt I would have scanned that receipt or invoice and I would have then a, a, a hyperlink leading to that PDF so if I have let's say like uh, you know like cost and uh, I uh, let me put it this way like let's say I have item uh, cost and receipt so I have here like item, I don't know, like printer, cost like 900, and here I have the receipt, and here I would have a hyperlink. I would have a hyperlink. Uh, if I click on that, I would get a PDF of that receipt or invoice, okay? And then a second item would be, I don't know, like computer, mm, I don't know, 500, and here again, I would have a hyperlink leading to the PDF uh, of that document. Another thing is if you're like in sales and you have your leads in a table, you could then have uh, links to the websites of those uh, leads, you know, either their blog or their company's website or so. So, so hyperlinks are quite useful in Excel. Now, another question is, okay, I got my hyperlinks. How do I get rid of them? Uh, okay, it's the same process. I just go in the, in the cell itself, go in insert hyperlink and I just remove the link. Okay, and that's it. I'm, I got I removed it. Yeah. If I go, let's go with this one again. Hyperlink. There you go. Just remove the link, and I got it. So you see, hyperlinks are you know whether you insert hyperlinks or remove them, so it's the same process. You go over insert and hyperlink, and uh, you do your job. And if it's a local uh, a file, you just navigate. Uh, on your computer to find that certain file. Otherwise, it's like a URL, a URL, an external uh, file, like on a on a on a website or so. You just give the URL down here. That's it.